Hello, this is Stefan from Conductor. And before we get to practice the schema registry, we have to launch it. And so now you know, we're going to launch using the R open source project. And so in this example, we're going to launch the full stack no UI Docker Compose file, which is going to come with the schema registry, but also Cafe Connect and KSQL DB. And this is going to allow us to move on with the course and use some external APIs, some added APIs and extended APIs for Apache Kafka. So we'll have Apache Kafka, we'll have Zookeeper, the schema registry, where we'll be using it in the next lecture, Kafka Connect, and KSQL DB. So we are going to start Kafka with the schema registry and other components. So if you click on full stack no UI.yaml, this is the file we're going to use. And this has one Zookeeper, one Kafka, one schema registry, one REST proxy that we will not be using, but it's still here just in case you need it for some other projects, one Kafka Connect, and one KSQL DB server. So six components we're going to start very, very easily as part of one command. So to do so, let's go back to our command line interface. I'm going to stop uh, the Kafka stack Docker Compose that we have running for multiple Kafka and one Zookeeper. And yes, I'm logged out of Conductor, so it's perfect for this cluster. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to start a new uh, file. So instead of ZK single Kafka multiple, I'm going to run the file full stack no UI.yaml and then press up. And again, this will is going to this is going to also um, download some uh, schema registry for you. So the download can take a little bit of time. And the setup is going to be more complicated. So you're going to see a lot more logs happening because while well, Kafka is starting up with a lot more components. But hopefully, if you have set up Kafka correctly, um, uh, the Docker correctly, with the right amount of memory, then this should work very, very easily. So how do we make sure that everything is running? So you need to wait for, obviously, all the log to be happening. But if you do Docker Compose, you specify the file, which is full stack, no UI, and then you do PS for processes, we can see that we have six processes up and running. So this is really, really good news. So we have Kafka Connect, Kafka REST Proxy, Schema Registry. Uh, this is the Kafka Broker. This is the KSQL DB Server. And this is Zookeeper. So this took a little bit of time, maybe like a minute. But now everything is up and running. You can do one more time this up command to make sure it is. Yes, everything is up and running. So we're good to go. And this really shows you the power of Docker. Because from an educational, educational perspective, um, setting up the Schema Registry, KSQL DB, and so on is very, very, very complicated and slow. So in this command, we have a full stack of Kafka that we can play with and start learning Kafka schema registry with. So I will see you in the next lecture to set up conductor with this stack.